Before we begin, I would just like to point out that the commentary for this video will be unscripted. I will mostly let the gameplay do the talking and just highlight key points for the matchup. If this format works for both me and the audience, hopefully, this will let me produce these kind of matchup commentary videos more often. With that said, let's go. Since Monkey's Jingu's stacks do not produce much of a threat level 1, we can still go for stats for our starting items, but I will go for boots first instead of battle to help mitigate the stacks better later. As for the late movements, we will have to find a good balance between staying in the middle of the river too long and eating too many stacks. So I will try to use remnant most of the time and not trade too much until I have creep advantage or the creeps are moving towards his tower. Once under the tower, we can trade more freely as Monkey will have to choose between hitting me or the creeps. And once boots arrive, we can go even more aggressive. As long as Monkey is forced to use the Boundless Strike at 3 stacks and not at 4, we will not take too much damage and it is okay to sacrifice some of our farm to do so. The goal here is to reach level 6, and then if Monkey isn't fed too much, if you haven't died, he should be an easy kill. Naturally, Overload is a good tool to secure the range creeps if you're afraid to approach the Monkey King. If you keep abusing the creep aggro, eventually your melee creeps will hug the enemy's range creep and that's where you can safely secure the creep with the Overload hit. We can also try to force him to use Boundless Strikes on the range creeps of your own to secure it, so that way he cannot use it on you and this will let you go even more aggressive. Make sure to only use the Vortex combo if he gets too greedy under the tower or has otherwise zero stacks. If you go low on health or low on mana before the battle arrives, feel free to get a salt and a few mangoes in between. Radiant's top tower is being attacked. Double kill. Ooh, I love this part. Dyer's middle tower is under attack.
So far in this matchup, every single of Monkey's Bounded Strike was with 3 stacks only, so we didn't suffer too much health damage and can continue the harassment. This lets us get all the experience we need to reach level 6, and by the time we reach level 6, he should be prepped for a kill. Stupendous! Having gloves of haste and some mangoes is crucial to make the kill happen. You will need attack speed to connect the hits more often, and you will need mangoes to get that extra mana once he goes low and you go low. And now I'm just gonna wait until he shows up on the lane, and as soon as we have clear vision on him, we can go for the kill. Once he gets low enough, he will become desperate to hit a stun, and that's where we can dodge it. This time I had double damage to help me, but I still had mangoes, in case I needed that extra mana boost. And from here on now, with the first kill, we're gonna just continue aiming to kill Monkey King every time he shows back up on lane. Our orchid will be delayed, but we compensate by making sure Monkey King does not have a game. To make sure those kills continue happening, you must control the runes, or otherwise aim to use fountain boosted jumps. And this concludes the matchup. I will leave you with the rest of the game. Good luck. If you were a millennial, I'd say wicked sick. <laughs>
double kill. Told you a storm was coming! Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Ready. Bottom tower is being attacked. Dyer's <laughs> bottom tower is under siege. Was coming. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Thank <laughs> you. 